What's going on? Welcome back to another Battle of the Plains. Probably the last one we'll do before the Vintage Cube, so be sure to check that out. And we did Innistrad this time, thanks for thanks to a straw poll we did. Z Cohen, thank you so much for the sub, really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And, uh, you know, here we are. Let's sort by rarity, because you guys like that. Predator Ooze, we've got a Jace, so we're definitely blue, even though our blue looks pretty bad. That's sad. So we got Charmbreaker Devils, also good. Daybreak Ranger, also good. Exquisite Blood, not that great. Harmless Offering, pretty bad and limited. Predatory Ooze, Predator Ooze, not Predatory. Straw Poles Rigged, Recount, it's too late, it's already, we already started. All right, I recounted, it's still, still 11 votes to seven. Okay, we did it. Watch your video, Modern Slivers, and how to subscribe your stream. Zico, thank you so much for saying so, man. I appreciate it. That's all I ask for. That and a harmless offering, which the subscription will do. 2 1, uh, put the top two cards in your library in your graveyard. Sure. Ongoing investigation is pretty good. Just the Wind is actually pretty okay. Is this madness? Yeah, it's madness. It's actually less good. I'm thinking of Silent Departure, which is get, get those two hits. Hossmania, I appreciate your effort, though. Hunger of the Howl Pack, I do like. This is a good trick. This is why I voted Zendikar? Why? I don't, understand, I don't understand that reasoning. Oh, you're looking through the cards that you have in your pool? That's why I voted Zendikar. Well, that's real, real mature pronunciation for dummies. Real mature, buddy. Real mature. Kessig Dire Swine is actually pretty sizable. Look, this was uh, this was back when you had to work for your trample six six for for six, just like uh, Colossal Dreadmaw. Only it only gets trample if you have Delirium. So, the Hanging Jads of Florida. Oof! Too soon, man. Too soon. Uh, not main deckable, but great for the sideboard. Vexing Shusher is awesome. So you can go here. Uh, three three. This guy looks like a dog, right? This looks like a like a bulldog. I've always thought this was a hound. Okay, hold on. We're gonna have to do some. We're gonna have to do some viewage. This is one hundred percent a dog, right? Like a bulldog. Did I say vexing Shusher? I meant Scuttler. I can't look at his face. Like, it's just got a bulldog face. Like, it's got that, that nose like this. I don't know. Maybe I'm just... Maybe it's just me. 5-3. Uh, nope. 4-3. Nope. Actually, Strong Perk Patrols, it's okay. Uh, one of my free treats are... No. Thunderous Wrath is pretty good. Pyrehound is fine. Inner Struggle is okay. It's a lot of times it's removal. Oh, you want to see Harmless Offering as well? That is a good. That is a good art. <laughs> Look at that little cutie. Oh, uh, he's gonna cause some trouble. Yeah, the re the the two two three spider is pretty good. Two one one counters on a creature. Put three if you have delirium. Boar is good. This guy's good. Driver's okay. Oh, divination. I like a divination. Exile two creatures and return them to the battlefield under the owner's control. Do we have anything that really benefits from that? Not really. Charmbreaker Devils. You can go here. Sacrifice the Searching Lever for oh, a basic land and put it on the battlefield tapped. It's not terrible, especially because it comes into play untapped. Turn two zombies. I don't think we're going to have enough zombies for that. Is there a murder? Oh. And a Tooth Collector? Oh, Tooth Collector is also very, very good. Tooth Collector is uh, when enters battlefield, a creature gets a negative one, negative one. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if there are four more card types, uh, the target creature that player controls can take a one. So you can just keep doing it if you have Delirium. Plus three, negative three. That's basically removal. 
Stormbound Geist is great. Occultist is kind of meh. Nope. 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 Uh, three two for three. Mm. Nah. Interland Logger, just fine. Elvenwald Captive, this card's great. Stronger Geist is fine. Moon Mist. Um, three Transformer. Oh, this actually, this deck looks actually pretty sweet. Oh, Macabalt is pretty good actually. Return two creature cards from your hand. Yeah, actually, Macabalt is great. Nope. Nope. Mm. Mm. Nah, don't care about any of those. Black Cats. Kind of meh. Hamlet Captain's pretty fine. So this is 21. With 12 creatures. We might be having enough green that we can play Predators. Spider Spawning would be pretty great. I would, I would, I agree with you. I would not mind getting a Spider Spawning. Yeah, I think Predators is actually strong enough to put in the main deck. Anything else we want to add here? Oh, I like those, actually. Black Cat and Alchemist. Uh, I don't think Alchemist's Apprentice is as good, right? Because it sacrificed it to draw a card. So you're actually not... You're not getting the ability there. You're basically just playing a 1-1 one, one for 2. And then... Uh, Driver of the Dead, however, is pretty reasonable. Uh, mana cost 2 or less from your graveyard. And we have quite a few. We have Hamlet Captain, Hinterland Logger, Elven One Captain, and Stranger Geist. This deck actually seems pretty okay. I could see playing the Driver as another... Yeah, I think this is our deck. I'm reluctant to play this because it is colorless, but... Eh. I'll pass. So, eight. Eh, I'm probably going to go to seven, six. So, we only have one double black card, but it's very good. So, this is five black, six blue... And seven green. That actually seems pretty good. Sarcastatron, have a good afternoon, buddy. Good have to have a good afternoon or have a, have a good night, whatever you want to call it. And uh, what's Solte? Solte. Music Manly, have a good night, buddy. Don't forget Woodland Cemetery. It's already in my deck, you nerd. God, why are you like this, Jacob? Back in my day, Sultai was bug. So, I used to be the tournament organizer for a local store, and I still get WPN emails, like Wizards Play Network emails. Um, for like tournament organizers and it drives me utterly insane. I just want to, I'm like, please stop sending me these. I'll keep this hand. It is maddening. I don't like Shimmering Grotto because it's colorless. I know that's stupid because it can make any color, but it, it puts you off curve. Like you have to play one behind. So I don't know. Just my preference. Do I play Paper Magic? I mean, I did top eight a Pro Tour. So... The answer is yes. I do play Paper Magic. I don't play competitive Paper Magic as much anymore. Um, but I play FNMs and uh, we played... Me and my, my buddy Robert, Illusions Donate GG uh, from the stream, from Twitch. Uh, we did like four Battle Bond events in the past two weekends, which was pretty pretty awesome. Format is super fun. Blue. Okay. It's not a blue, but I accept. Probably just going to kill this guy. Yeah, Battle Bond was a blast. I had a great time playing some Battle Bond. Oh my god, Spencer, please record please do it, buddy. Lucky, lucky, lucky. 
That thing will go straight on the soundboard. Swole, Swole Mike. It's actually Swole Mike. Swole Rob is regular Rob. That was a good draw. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, you can investigate. Well, I guess we'll just get in there. And then they'll snake block. And then my guy will untap because reasons. Yeah, the funny thing is we opened the Blue Red Walker Partners. Uh, they were our pre-release promo, so we got to play with them in our first pre-release. And then we actually opened a pair in our prize packs. So we have we each took a pre-release promo and we each got a regular one. So now we each have the uh, the Blue Red Walkers. They were unbelievable. But yeah, that was pretty cool. That was a, a sweet experience. Uh, trample three three whenever. Yeah, sure, that guy's fine. Well, as you can actually, maybe I just block here. I can't. It can only block creatures flying. So maybe I don't block here. I'll I'll decline to block. I'm actually, what does this guy cost? Three less, so this guy costs four. One, two, three, four. And then we can still crack our clue. That's actually pretty good. So let's get in for this guy. And then even if it dies, we can get it back with the macabre waltz. One, two, three, four. We don't get anything back, but I think that's fine. Iron Chef Sammy, this is in the limited room. It's under Flash... Uh, it's Battle of the Plains, Phantom Swiss Sealed League. So, so check it out there. When it's a member return of permanent control to its owner's hand. That's actually pretty good because you can bounce your provisioners to give this guy another... Another five, another five alive. Oh, they just did bounce the land. Okay. Hey, man. Whatever you want to do. I mean, Macabot's discarding a land to get back Storm, Stormbound Geist and Galvanic Juggernaut's pretty good. How many clues from Ron Gomez will it take to discover you suck at this game? <laughs> uh, joke's on you, idiot. It takes less than one. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was aggressive. Yeah, you did got him. That was a good got him. <gasps> Big fan, though. Big fan. Hey, how many clues will it take to find out you suck? Big fan. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to attack here. Give me that clue. Oh, they're going to do a thing. They're going to cast a, a... What? Oh, by dealt by creatures other than target creature this turn. Oh, no. Well, that was a terrifying presence. If I ever saw one. Do I just put a 1-1 one, one counter on this? Do I just put two 1-1 one, one counters on this? If we play a Jace and bounce, Jace goes to three and then dies. If we let it die, we can Macaw Bolts and discard something. So we have four, five, six, seven mana. 
So we can macabre balls. One, two. Actually, what if we macabre balls? Let's do this. One, two. Walt, get both of these back. Discard might be on reason. Hossmania, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. Oh, Josh, thank you for giving Hossmania the sub. Man, <laughs> that's good. That's Admiral. That sounds exactly like me, buddy. I think I think that's actually me. And then we'll play you and put three counters on you. How's that sound? Pretty good? Hey, that's pretty good. It's like a build your own Baneslayer Angel. It loses on dying. Who even cares about that? Watch this. I do. Woof! Well, that's terrifying. Can I Jace activate and bounce all of them, do you think? Is that a reasonable thing to do? Oh, giving them clues all day. Call me Big Jugs. Don't call me that. It's not an appropriate name. What happened? What's going on right now? Oh. You're creating two green insect boys. That's a lot of creatures. Do we have like a negative one, negative one doll creatures? Fascinating. Right. So, tax each combat if able. I kind of want to put a dead weight on like one of these guys. Might be on reason would have been good here. I also kind of just want to bounce your life linker. You have four, five, six. This guy just, you could just go block, block, or actually four, four, three, three. Mm. Why do you have to attack every turn of Fable? They have no cards in hand? All right, that's pretty good. Five, six, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had a feeling you might do that. Oh! Well! So we're going to do four to them, one to the... Yeah, that's actually the... Yeah, that's fine. That's how we'll do it. God, he untaps again? Unbelievable. And now we can exile a dude to gain two life and get another clue. Which is pretty okay. They have seven mana. They're two away from flashing this back. I'm getting ten, ten one ones. That's pretty good. Yep. I'll go to nine.
yeah I don't care about that thing that's pretty unimpressive oh actually we'll crack the clue first ah Ooh. Whoa. Do you have any other graveyard recursion to consider? Not really. I think uh, Macabre Waltz is the only thing we have. Let's actually tap you and you. See if we can hit a, a green source. And that's what we wanted to do. Recluse and Strangerud Geist. Sometimes you just have it all. Oh, you're holding back now, huh? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, they're one mana away. It might be time to Jason bounce this guy. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight creatures. We have four creatures. So they have to alpha and make really bad attacks if they want to kill Jace. And if they do that, they're dead on the crackback if they don't hit a land. So we're actually just going to play Predator Ooze here. I actually really like this Jace. This was a good Jace. I think it was really underrated at the time because that power, that format was pretty powerful. So they have a bunch of 1-1s. One and they have a 3-3 three, three flyer that we like. And a 2-3 flyer. So we've seen two flyers so far. And they have a flashback card. So we want to get rid of grave. We want anything that hits graveyards. We want negative one, negative one things. Let's make sure we write all this down. So, neg one, neg one things, flyers, graveyard things. All right, I can't imagine they hit a land or else they would have played it by now and then just made a million dudes. But then they'd go to one. Okay, so they hit another emerge creature. Is that another it of the horrid swarm? <laughs> why did that take you so long? I never understand why people slow roll things like that. And it has haste, because of course it does. Seemed like a tough decision. I apologize that you had to make it. Must be nice. Actually, because of the Daybreak Ranger, we almost want the Shimmering Grotto in here. That's actually pretty good. <sighs> nope. MCG Pyro, three months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Destroy an artifact or an enchantment, you gain four life. Not really. I 
I almost want hysterical blindness. <laughs> oh god. Nope. Yeah, our our sideboard cards are not great. Yeah, we don't we have basically nothing to board in here. That's pretty brutal. I'm gonna put the Shimmering Grotto in just because if we flip Daybreak Ranger, it's pretty good. Oh, Decimator of the Provinces. Like you do. It's real confusing. Sometimes you either have one three three flyer in your hand or a decimator of the provinces and you just don't know what to do. How do I deal my opponent this forty damage this turn? I don't know. It's like this question man has asked himself for many years. Thank you. Ex Yogi, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Moon Mist, actually, I didn't think of the fog aspect. I just tried to consider how many werewolves we had. Yeah, that's actually a great point. Um, I'm actually going to run uh, Captive out there first, because then it lets us play Juggernaut. And also, flipping this guy is very, very good. That was a good draw, too. Well, next time we can play both of these, which is nice. This is not cube. This is battle, battle for the plains. Battle of the plains. Battle of the plains. Phantom Swiss. Decimator of the. God, every time do you have to have that guy? Every time. Yes, we're uh, trading. Am I hyped for cube? Are you serious? How dare you? I've never been more hyped. I think Geist is still better here. So is it 2-3? Okay. Little known fact, Frank hates Cube. That's true. He really dislikes it. Not true. When it attacks, if there are four more card types in your graveyard, create a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, that guy's pretty scary, actually. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Not there yet. Yeah, this card also gets out of hand really quickly if they have Delirium. You're only 45 Dominaria drops away from getting Teferi. Wow. Oh, God. It's, it's, it's painful because it's accurate. Wow. That's hilarious. Um. Huh. So if they have a trick, we're just completely blown out. I'll just take five. Like, just blocking with one, two, and two, two to take out the, the three, three, like, any plus one, plus one spell is just a blowout. It's not a safe block there. Well, see you later. We can flip this guy now. That's actually pretty good. And we can flip everything else, too. Everything gets flipped here. 
Everything everything flips at Frank's Flipping Emporium. I wish we had a red. That fight ability is insane. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Regular rectangular prisms, however. Yep, demon male hauberk is pretty insane. I know that you're gonna hurt me if you know me. But I think you're moving too fast. Oh. Oh, I see. Seven five. That's a seven five, good buddy. Um, so you're gonna be a four six and you're a four four. Alright. We'll see what happens here. Oh, werewolves of midnight. That worked out pretty okay, I think. We traded a daybreak ranger and a two. We traded our two drop and our three drop for your better three drop and your eight drop. Oh, and if this guy dies, we get to. Uh, we can also just bring two of these guys back and discard driver of the dead. Yeah, that was a pretty profitable turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six mana, so we could actually, if we get... We could just get back Juggernaut and play Juggernaut this turn. And, like, just discard Hinterland Logger. Which also can get back by Driver of the Dead. And Estrada's is a little too spooky for me to draft. <laughs> Jake, I'm sorry for scaring you here, buddy. I know it's, uh... I don't want to discard Driver, because if Driver dies, we just get Hinderland Logger back for free. Like, this is a good situation to just get a free card back. Um, I also don't feel like Macabre Bolting, because we'll have to just get rid of our guy. I think it's just Driver. Driver seems fine here. Chapel Geest. And a Nettle Swine. <laughs> Your mother is a Nettle Swine. Oh, that's a big floater. Well, this game just changed. Ba 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 boom boom boom. So you'd go block here and block. I think this is actually fine because it gets us. It gives us a lot of things to do here. You ready? Yep, I accept. So you take five and you go to five. Seems good. So this is a 5-5 five, five now. And we could waltz. But I think we're fine without waltzing. Because if we draw any land, we just go waltz, get back two guys, and discard the land and play a galvanic juggernaut. Wow. Okay. That's uncomfortably aggressive. Yep, that's that's a card, all right. So there's no cards in hand. Okay, okay. So we're virtual one here. This guy is trampled though, so you have to 
You're at three. You have to block this guy with three dudes or four, three, and a one, one. Oh. I see. None of the graveyard cards save us, right? So I guess we'll divination and see if we can hit something cool. Like. <laughs> oh, the pain is so real right now. Their draws are so good, dude. I think we actually have to just alpha here. Jar man, what's going on, buddy? Um, so this guy has trample, so they're automatically going to three. They can't block this. So for all intents and purposes, they're at three. Which means this guy has to be blocked, so they can chump. And this guy can just be blocked here, and they take two and go to one. Which leaves them with two one ones, a four three, and this guy. If we waltz and discard swamp, we're not play anything this turn. That's pretty bad. Like, we literally just waltz and pass, and then we're dead. So, no. Let's get dangerous. Darkwing Duck! Um... So we're definitely getting back captive, I think. Yeah, we're definitely getting back captive. And we'll also get back... Uh, I guess it doesn't matter, because we're actually probably going to keep the Recluse here. So we'll discard Ranger. I think it's just captive. Or Recluse is just better when they have... Uh, one, two, three, four. We take six, and they're out of cards. So we have to block the Flyer, unfortunately. If we attack with this, we have three blockers. We can go block, block, block. We take three. Or we can go block, block, block. We take six. So we're actually okay to attack with the driver, especially because it gets a guy back. And it means if they if they do attack with this, we can block here and swing back for lethal with the with the stormbound geist. So yeah, this is this is the same as if we just block that guy. So I'm okay with that. <clears throat> Plus, the fewer guys they have, the less they can move around their equipment, which is nice. The one downside is that Driver does block this guy pretty well. I don't really want to block with Boar here. I don't want to go to two either. One, two, three, four, five. And I think we can go to two. Not worry about it. Do we have any life gain cards in our deck? Ongoing investigation would actually be sweet. We can gain four life here. Huh. That's pretty okay. Whoa, that's actually really good. Can we alpha here? If we attack with these three, they just block here, so it does nothing. But we have a lot of blockers and they don't have any tramplers, so. Yeah, this actually seems okay. We have two blockers for flyers, they don't have trample. 
Geist can only block creatures with flying, so that's not going to do what you think it does. I actually want this guy to die because it's just as big as it's bigger than the swine. But now they have to sack a guy to re-equip the, the hauberk. Oh, man. Woo. That was a game right there. Hmm. Now I kind of want to bring this in. Whew. That was close. That was close. You are correct. Our deck seems good. Oh, the Moon Mist. Maybe we do want the Moon Mist, actually. Arg. I'll take out Hamlet Captain. I'm not a huge Hamlet Captain fan. For now. Until we can find something else. Okay. The Moon Mist second line of test is, text is flip your... If it transforms all your werewolves, your, your human werewolves. Let's get... Dangerous. Oh, this hand is really interesting. It looks like we're a blue-black deck. I'm going to keep this because of the divination. And we have so many cards to discard to Macabre Waltz if we start hitting creatures. I could see taking out the pump spell. I was just kind of rushing there. So I wanted to make sure we got Moon Mist in. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure Moon Mist is actually that great, though, because it's not like they have a trick where they're like, you know, attack... For a million pump all oh it's because of the decimator of the provinces that's right that's right forest off the top would be great i accept that well, our opponent missed a second land so that's okay i guess and a third land as well we might win this game despite oh that was a good draw You're not sure if who's trolling or not. I forgot they had Decimator because it was a while ago, and the, and game two didn't go anything like game one. So you might have done better. The special sealed. That's funny that I might have done better because I'm like, I feel like we're doing well here. Every game, this is getting just. Well, all right. We'll we'll throw our galvanic juggernaut into your ambush viper every single game. Yeah, I totally forgot they had the biggest pump spell of them all. That was my bad. That's my bad. Oh, lots of. Had we divination first, we could have dead weighted that guy. That would have been better. It's late. We've been playing for a while. Wow. Yeah, sure. Glad we brought our other card in. Look at this recovery that they've got going on here. This is funny to me. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can flip you this turn. Alternatively, we can McCall Ball, Skip Back, Juggernaut, and Hinterland. We have that Liliana dance. <laughs> oh. Isn't two at a giant online? What? When there's trouble, you can call DW. How? Werewolves of London.
Yeah, we're just gonna go all. We're gonna gonna, gonna go ham here. So you can either take nine. Okay, you got it. You got it. I'll take six. Yeah, I wish they had Battle Bond online, but I totally understand why they don't. That is not an easy format to program. I wouldn't even know how to do two at a giant on Magic Online. What a blob. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Kill this dude. Jugs on taps. Murder this dude. Should have murdered post combat. I'm I'm like I'm playing I'm playing faster cuz we have 4 minutes on the clock. But I think we're still fine. Yeah, that was rough cuz now we don't get to untap this guy. So that might actually cost us. That was a that was a pretty sizable misplay, but if they kill they have to kill something, right? Right, guys? Like they have like 7 minutes longer than we do, so more longer? More? Yep, that's frustrating. Actually, they have to block a bunch of things, so yeah, we're just going to play Daybreak Ranger here instead. And then Juggernaut should untap. God, these are two twos as well. Ugh. Solid play. Yeah, this Stranger Geist is good because it could just give us some free attacks. Yep. This is how the game gets away from us. 2-2 two -two flyer one time. Before they draw Decimator of the Provinces. We'll just play this guy for now. They missed lands for like 10 turns. I'm really surprised that this game is going the way it is. So they have five creatures. We have we have five creatures, so. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's decimator mana. I think we die. Uh, Zaychi will be streaming until the end of this event. So, yeah, Intangible Virtue is a good card. We brought in our. Yep, there it is. Unbelievable. <sighs> Never doesn't have it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, four, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, two, twenty-three. So we have to block ten of it. Actually, we can do that. Oh. Sixteen plus seven. Okay, we'll block six here. Three here. Two here. Right? So we take eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we go to one. Oh, and their guys have vigilance, so. Yeah, that's cool. Never mind. No, they didn't punt. They have Vigilance. I literally thought that we could win, but then I forgot they don't tap because Intangible Virtue is a fun card. It's a fun and interactive magic card. <laughs> sure. Sure. 
sure. <laughs> I wish I gave them trample. That'd be so such gas if they just block and then yeah, sure. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I can't. Sorry, I can't beat your literal three rares that you played this game. My bad. Yeah, good game. <laughs> but it was not a good game. It was bad game. Do we... Hmm. Is there anything we wanted to change? I don't think so. I'm going to play my one rare that makes a bunch of tokens and my other mythic rare that uh, makes all my guys really big. I got stuck on one land for five turns, but that doesn't matter because I just have really strong rares. So, Good game, though. Oh, yeah, good, good game. I mean, to be fair, we misplayed pretty pretty heavily in the early game. I, I would blame myself, actually, because we actually could have... If we divinationed first, uh, we would have been able to dead weight the snake and then we could have actually had our, we would have had I think we, our galvanic juggernaut would have been significantly more powerful that game um, would have got a lot more damage in so unfortunately I, I think it can go back I think we can trace it back to that turn that turn was probably the defining turn of the match Spazio, why do you say hi to Mike, too, when I'm the only one here? It's very strange. Are we, are we drafting M9? M19's not even out? What's going on right now? I'm very confused. Where are my green sources at? Oh. <sighs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure we could have just won that that last that last game. Um, I I would blame myself and say that it happened when uh, <laughs> uh, when we misplayed with the the dead weight. That's not a green source at all. Play something with one toughness. That's not one toughness at all. Oh, hi, Mike. Oh, hi, Mark. My kingdom for a Twilight Mire. All right, a swamp works, I guess. Well, I'm not going to play Tooth Collector here for nothing, for no value. That seems bad, though. I don't know why the sound was delayed. Sometimes sometimes you do things and streams are funny. The internet's a weird place, man. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards you'll ever exile one, then put the rest one in. It's turned. Turn the exile card face up. Oh, God. No, killing that immediately. <laughs> I don't want you to get no 10 10 off of this clone shell. I really don't like dead weight. I really don't like murdering that guy over dead weighting, but I mean, I'm not going to dead weight it and, and hope they don't have like a four four or a five five underneath it because then they're just wasting two burn two removal spells. Uh, 
They only have three cards in hand. Oh, that's a good one. Guys, you remember the great Aurelius Fury debacle of 2018? Never forget. Two cards in hand. How deep do we go on this tooth collector? I feel like we go pretty deep, right? No time like the present to make a 6-5 tooth collector. <sighs> I'm okay with that. Get back a driver in this tooth collector, I guess. Three card types in the graveyard? All right. Oh, we can actually discard Strangler Geist to get back a Driver, which is pretty cool. I think we're just going to win on this on the back of this guy, though. So. Kyle, I like that you're looking at our standard deck. This is not it, buddy. Doesn't the stream title say it's Battle of the Plains? Grandpa, tell us a story about where you were during Aurelia's Fury Gate. Well, well, little Jimmy, I was behind my chair when the Magic Online client decided to be a piece of shit, you see? And, uh, it was a day of great fury of my own, little Jimmy. Oh, life's finale, and you get to search my library in my, in my, in, put him in my graveyard. Oh, that's actually pretty good with the macabre walls. Ooh, boy, you're actually helping me out. You're, you're letting me tutor for my best creatures, I think. Search hard upon slider for up to three creature cards, put them into their graveyard. This could be good. Here we go. Here we go. Put them in the graveyard. I don't curse very frequently. I try to make it family friendly, but sometimes like sometimes I realize I'm an adult and we're all adults here and sometimes it's funny. So sometimes we get the curses out. Can you hurry up so my stronger guys can come back? Also, if we have another card type in this graveyard, do we have a sorcery? We can actually macabre waltz. Uh, to put a sorcery in the graveyard might be on reason to put three counters on this guy and attack for six. That's probably just lethal. So. Albarn, I don't know if you're saying hi or goodbye. Why oh, you say hello, I say goodbye. That's true. I don't know your adults. I guess I made an assumption. That's sad. That's my bad. And I think back to home and I learned in high school. It's a wonder I can think at all. Oh my god, dude, what's the hold up here? 
Are you are you writing down by hand everything in my hand? Uh, Chow is actually both high and by in Italian, so. I'm a 36-year-old child that makes poop jokes all the time. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? <laughs> I'm 76. Started playing Magic in 88. Yeah, that's, uh, that's reasonable. I have no idea what's going on right now. Right, you can use it both ways. I'm that's what I'm saying, but you're saying it's high in Italian and I'm saying it is both ways. So I'm I I know. That was that's what I said. <laughs> oh, unless you're probably you're responding to someone else. I don't know. Oh, you're responding to Hosmania. Gotcha. Okay. We're trying to figure this out. Well, our opponent's getting a real good look at our deck. May I introduce you to the snipping tool? I took a clean break from poop jokes a while ago. <laughs> rightfully so, sir, rightfully so. I'm going to open up the ask for confirmation. I'll ask for reimbursement page while we're waiting. And then we'll go back to the game. And they disconnected. When we first started the game, they disconnected immediately. Um, they lost connection at 543. Like, so I'm pretty sure they just have a bad connection. Interesting. Sometimes you just say goodbye, but it's not right. Okay, that's good to know. Snipping tool. Minina, do you not know about the snipping tool? Great success. Frankazon.com, that's a good site. I would go there. I would buy all my textbooks there. This is actually a real site. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of alt and print screen. But then you still have to open a new paint folder. And then you still have to paste it in there. And then you still have to save it to the desktop. I still think I, a snipping tool is just easier for me. But yeah, I am I I have I do use uh I do use alt alt print screen when when necessary. Chris, I don't think you got banned. I don't think at any point you got banned. That doesn't sound reasonable. Also, I allow links, so. What are my origins? Um, depends on what we're referring to. Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, so my family is Italian. But, uh, I'm real tempted to get a DNA test. To see how that goes. Well, no. So here's the problem, right? So let me let me alt. I'll alt print screen Magic Online, right? And so I'll go here, and then I'll paste it in. 
And like, because look, like, see, it already like it already did a weird thing where like this area is all empty. So now I have to go undo, and then I'll do it again. So now it's at the top, but then I have to go down here and resize it, and be like, oh, I'll make it smaller. Okay, that's good. Now we have it. So like, there's just a lot of like detail work that I have to do in paint. That's just harder to do if I just want an exact area. I can just be like snipping tool, snip it, done. Don't DNA test, they've all been hacked? What does that even mean? So what, like a hacker will know that I'm I'm part like, there's like, like I have part Uzbekistan in me and part South African? Like, I, what is that, I don't know, what is that gonna do? Why does this concern me? I think we just won this game, 554. Maybe they saw our deck and they were like, no, nah, I can't beat this. That means whatever the hell you want it to mean. Okay. So I, see, I have no idea what to do about that, man. That is an interesting situation. I mean, I'm, I feel like it's pretty safe to assume that my, like, I've already been hacked at some point in time. My social security number and credit card information is already out there and, like, I don't know. I'd also have to look and see what information they need from me because I don't see why you'd need, like, you know, super detailed information, like social security number for, um, for something that you're just deriving out of the DNA, I guess. But I guess you want to prove that it's yours, your DNA, so they can associate your DNA with your social so that, like, someone can't steal your DNA and then also run your DNA. Hey, spit in this for me or, you know, take a sample and then send it in and pass it off as yours without having the information to qualify that, so... Make the base start page smaller, and it's... Yeah, that's true, but I have to do that each time because sometimes I do need bigger ones. I actually don't know what my base window is, but... It's always different for me. Either way, Zichi, appreciate the, uh, the tips. I always appreciate, uh... Hacks that make my, my daily computing life easier, so... Illusions done at GG. Robert, we're just talking about uh, backgrounds and uh, doing D the DNA tests, like Ancestry or, uh, you know, whatever the, whatever the other ones are. And like H3H3, I can read it on stream and we can figure out my origins. My origin story. And we win the match due to inaction. All right, well, that's the end of that. Let's try one more time. One more time. Actually, that's fine. Mm. Actually, we're gonna bring in um. We were gonna bring in this Sarah, not Sarah Sanctuary, the um, the Shimmering Grotto, weren't we? Because I think being able to flip Daybreak Ranger and fight something is actually pretty strong. Yeah, I definitely think that was a case of timing out due to uh, due to bad manners because, uh, for one thing, they timed out initially at the beginning of the round anyway. Uh, so that was pretty pretty apparent that they were having a, an issue. Or not timed out, but like they disconnected at the beginning. And for two, like they just wiped the board. So and it was game one. I don't. Yeah, you know, I mean, if it was game three, I could understand. I could be like, mm, maybe that's a little suspicious. But game one. 
I will play first. Can someone explain Battle of the Plains to Spazio? I will keep. One more time. No. Okay. Well, that's good. Preach. <laughs> oh, that's good times. It's when airplanes joust. That makes sense, actually. How do you even argue with that? Oh, a little snapperino, huh? Swamparooski. No swamp -a -rooski. It's Flat Earth Society versus the Flat Sun Society. Is there a Flat Sun Society? Because that sounds terrifying. Oh, that's cool. You smothered my guy. And by cool, I mean the rudest thing you can do. Wow, look how big this guy is. He's the biggest little snapper around. Swamp. Just be it. Just do it. Woodland Cemetery is also fine. Thank you. That's actually great because now Driver of the Dead has a target. That was pretty good. And then if the driver dies and we get back this guy and this guy dies, we can McCall Bolts get them both back again. These creatures are just going to be going ham. That was a great draw, by the way. I will block. I... Well block. A waste? Wow. You wanna come at me, bro? I'll block. I dare you. No? Okay. No come at me. Oh, I was ho I was I was like we're gonna draw Jason, not have a second blue. I didn't say it though. But I thought about it. Remember Lander's Battlefield gets plus... So it's a 3-2 Menace that gets... So it's a 5-4 Menace, basically. Any non-green land... Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. How about a dead weight? How about a divination into a dead weight and a island or a swamp? Sure. Well, that's not very good. Eh, we can double block here, I guess. Unless they have any land whatsoever. But they get to scry here. Did you say any green land? Here, have a green land. Thank you, Alan. Hmm. How do you know that one? Alexa doesn't know that one. Oh, they left it on top. They must really like it. These craisins were a good idea. Wow, quest for the Grave Lord and a spatial contortion. Solid. No land though, so that's good. Are you friggin' serious right now? I 
I mean, Quest for the Grave actually gets bounced pretty easily, so that's okay. I'm just going to keep eating these craisins, guys. Apologies in advance. I think we literally have one double black card and one double blue card. So I don't think it's actually, I don't think it's so many double, double X costs. I think it's literally two and you just happen to draw them both. And it's also sealed, so I really, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, sure. My quest for the Grave Lord is so big. Actually, probably should have traded with this guy instead, because this guy's just so much better against this guy. Well, that's good. They don't have a land. Five. Five, six, seven. We can make this guy big, but then they just have to block here. They can also kill this. Assuming they have a land, right? Like, they go, sack this guy, kill this guy. We have one blocker. They force it to block here, and then they deal eight to us. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, not getting rid of the Basilisk was pretty bad. Magic is a game where, like, the tiniest errors eventually end up killing you. Yes, Quest for the Grave Lord is also in Battle Bond. Five, six, seven, flip. We have one mana left over. We can't return the token. It's not this token? That seems bad. I'd almost rather just flip this guy and see what happens. I mean, they kill this. One, two, three, four, five. If we don't, if they don't hit a land, we're okay. We live. Well, we already played a land this turn. We played an island this turn, so hunting for a swamp isn't going to do what you think it does. Yep, and they have a land. Yep, all right, that'll do. Cool. So what do I see? Quest for the Grave Lord. Bunch of landfall idiots. I almost like just the wind here. <laughs> I don't know if there's a commonly accepted best plan. That's a good question. I want to take out Might Be on Reason, because that's four mana. We'll bring in just the wind. I'll bring in Spring Sage Ritual just because I feel like there's probably some target for it, and four life and draw a card is pretty good. If that's what it does, I think that's I think that's what it does. Is four life and you draw a card? Is that right? That seems really strong. Uh, remove three quests, return up to two target creatures from your graveyard, sure. Well, 
Wow. Wow. Let's see if this guy can just take over the game. Uh, one questy boy is clearly the winner of that battle. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, giving them free counters. 2-2, two, two, coming through. Oh, they didn't block. Fantastic. I like Richie Boy instead. Excel into that player's graveyard, create a 1 1. Sure. The best block I've played with is definitely Ravnica. Wait, this guy has Death Touch. Oh, that's pretty cool. Did they not know about the Death Touch? Intriguing. All right, that was a good game. Both sides played hard. I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six sources of, of black and one, two, three, six sources of blue and seven sources, eight sources of green. And green is double green, triple green, double green, double green, where this is the only double blue card. Well, these are the only, we have two double blue cards and one double black card. So I'm not really too worried about it. We also have, uh, I was going to say we also have Shimmer and Gato, but that's not how that works. We have Divination to help us find those cards as well, so. I'm going to keep this hand. This doesn't seem terrible. We can Into the Wind. We can... Tooth Collector if we hit another land. Any land here is great. That was a good one. Geist is very, very good. I would not cut Geist here. When are we going <laughs> to... Grouch86, six months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Um, The reason we're not cutting Geist is because it's a really solid 2-2 two -two flyer and it becomes a 3-3 three -three flyer. And we have a lot of pump tricks that put counters on, so I really don't think it's reasonable to cut so now we can play most of these things pretty much everything here we can play now so colony heart expedition how nice seems good seems good um, I like, uh, if we hit another green, we can play Stranger Geist and Ongoing Investigation next turn. I kind of like just playing Daybreak Ranger here, though. Don't kill my Daybreak Ranger. Also, Shimmering Grotto is pretty OP with Daybreak Ranger, so... God, they never, never don't have it, do they? Green, 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 green city. So any land lets us play both of these next turn, which is nice. Ongoing investigation is just very strong. All right, you have one card in hand. Solid. 
with mana cost two or less. That's sad, isn't it? Let's ongoing investigation here. Let's see if we can hit a land. Oh, actually, we're going to get a clue, so that's pretty cool. And we have nothing to play, so we're just going to crack the clue and try to hit a land. We're very good at this game. All right. So two cards to five cards. I feel like we're in pretty good shape here. They can crack their Colony Art Expedition, but that's not super impressive. We also have Just the Wind for the quest of the Gravelord, so they have to have... What does this do? Plus two, plus one, and has Menace. All right, so now we can just kill that pretty easily and not feel bad about it. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the end of this game, to be quite honest, but... So we can murder and get a clue. I think we cracked it. Well, no, we can't. We actually need one more mana. A wastes. So you may have spectral uh, <laughs> procession. Uh, spatial contortion is what we're looking for here. Black. Uh, one, two. Yep, that's pretty good. You get a counter, you kill this guy, you get another counter. So. Harrow. So you have no cards in hand. That's good to know. Alright. Feels okay. Pretty sure we just won this game. Expedition map. Not ideal, friend. Not ideal. The, the thinning is real, though. Two lands with Harrow, two lands with Expedition, two lands with Evolving Wilds. Oh, we just get to sit here and amass tokens, no less. Amass clues. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're... Yep. All right, sweet. So, another 2-1. Not too bad. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. This format was really sweet. Had I known this, I probably would have played more of this, because these, these sealed decks are pretty nice you get to play with all these cool old cards and uh mix and match them into 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 decks that otherwise wouldn't contain them but yeah thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it and if you like the content please feel free to like or subscribe check me out on twitch and patreon for all new content um and uh i'll see you guys next time for some vintage cube so have a good night guys